Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to another collection update by me, the Obsessed Juvian95. This collection update is, of course, my Christmas 2013 collection update. Before I start, um, comment below, tell me how your Christmas was. Also, what do you think about the time of the Doctor? I watched it last night. I thought it was a really good send-off. I'll talk more about that in my review of The Time of the Doctor, which should be up maybe in the next couple of days. It'll be before the new year starts anyway. So, Christmas 2013. Um, what did I think of it? It wasn't what I expected. Um, I got quite a few presents I didn't think I would get. Uh, I got quite a few Doctor Who presents, obviously, because I'm a massive Doctor Who fan. Um, I've got loads of other things. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look at some other things, what I've got. So, I've got some films, uh, such as Star Trek Into Darkness, starring Chris Prine as Captain James T. Kirk. Um, I'm a Star Trek fan as well, but not as much as a Doctor Who fan, so... That's very nice. It also stars Benedict Cumberbatch, who of course plays Sherlock, and Sherlock is returning in a new year. Very good show. I like Sherlock. Also got Man of Steel, starring Henry Cavill as Superman, uh, Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Michael Shannon as General Zod, and um, Russell Crowe as Cal L. Uh, I actually enjoyed this movie. A lot of people have said, oh, it's not really that good, but I disagree. I think it's one of the best movies of this year, along with Star Trek Into Darkness. So, that's very nice. I also got a couple of games. I'll just show you one of my 3DS games what I've got, which is Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Uh, I didn't get this first time around, but it was released on the Wii, so um, I got this for Christmas instead. I expected to get this. And I have also got Bioshock Infinite. Uh, my mum and dad got me. Uh, it looks a good game. Um, so now I have all the Bioshock games, uh, Bioshock Infinite of course came out earlier this year I think it was March and also got Assassin's Creed 3 came out a year ago I know but I waited a year so the price could go down so very excited um, one day I'll review that with my uh, video game reviews series and what else have I got I've also I've got loads of stuff um, I'm not going to show you everything because it'll just take up a lot of time I've also got this book from my girlfriend, which is Harriel Historia, and it's based on a video game series, The Legend of Zelda. It's really nice, and basically what that is, it's a quite a heavy book as well, and what, what it is really is, it's a detailing of concept art from all the games in the Legend of Zelda video game series, so... That's really nice. Thank you very much, The Determined Artist. Um, one of the best presents I've ever got for any Christmas. So, thank you very much, The Determined Artist. I love you very much. Um, moving on to Doctor Who now, seeing as this is like the main focus of the video. I got Series 7 Part 2. You may remember last year... In last year's Christmas collection update, it was part one, but uh, I waited a year to get part two. Um, part two came out like in May or something, just after the series aired, and I don't know why I didn't get around, didn't get round to getting it, but I've got it now, so that's pretty nice. It includes uh, the snowmen, and it go, and then it includes all. The rest of the episodes from Series 7, from The Bells of St. John to 
the name of the Doctor. Very nice cover as well, I really like it. Uh, of course, I've also got the Day of the Doctor, the 50th anniversary special, which is epic. It's one of my favourite uh, stories of all time now. And probably The Time of the Doctor is also one of my favourite stories as well. It was a great regen, but as I said, I'll go into more detail about that. So uh, that is The Day of the Doctor. I'm very pleased I got that as well. And I also got a couple of classics as well. Uh, very recent releases. I've got the Aztecs Special Edition starring William Hartnell. One of the earliest stories in the show's history. It was a sixth story. Um, of course you've got Jacqueline Hill here who plays Barbara as well. And it's six episodes long, two disc set. Eventually I'll review that. It'll be sometime in 2014. Um, so very nice. And my girlfriend got me that again. The Determined Artist. Thank you. And my girlfriend's mum got me this. The Visitation Special Edition, starring Peter Davison as the Fifth Doctor. And this is supposed to be set in the Great Fire of London. So that's very nice, very glad I've got that as well. And that's all of my Doctor Who DVDs. Now every year I also get figures as well. And um, before you think anything, uh, my girlfriend doesn't get me like every single figure in the world. She gets me some... And, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting figures for this year. Um, especially the set I'm about to show you now, which is the City of Death set, which was released about two years ago. Um, very nice set. Includes the fourth Doctor, played by Tom Baker, and also uh, Count Scarlone who is played by Julian Glover, who's also appeared in films such as For Your Eyes Only, which is a Bond film, and also in Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. It also has a Mona Lisa, a sonic screwdriver, and a gun, and it has a uh, Scaroth head as well, because, uh, spoiler alert, if you've not seen the story, um, basically Scout Count Scarioni is one of the many incarnations... Like scattered across time of Scaroff, the last of the Jagaroff after his spaceship blew up. So that is a very nice set. Thank you very much, Determined Artist. I'll just move that there. And I also got one of the Toys R Us exclusives. I knew I was getting this, and it is the Eighth Doctor with Dalek Alpha from Children of the Revolution, which is a comic script. Uh, comic strip from the, the expanded universe of the show. Um, I said in past videos I don't really count uh, the uh, comic strips and all that as canon but I guess now seeing as Big Finish is seen as canon because of the Night of the Doctor um, it's really good but I really like this set um, I mean it's got a it's got like a 1960s Dalek, um, but it's painted red and black and silver. It, it looks really good. And you've got a different version of Paul McGann, which we all thought we'd never see again. And of course, if you've uh, read the news recently in terms of figures, there's going to be another sort of Paul McGann figure in the form of his costume um, seen from... Uh, well. The War Doctor's costume from the Day of the Doctor. So that is very nice. Have I got anything else to show you? Um, there's a there's a lot more things. I got like a massive history book as well um, from my half sister, and it just basically details all the events of history from around the Roman times to now, basically, and. I went round to my girlfriend's yesterday for Christmas and in that time, uh, you know, I opened presents and whatnot, which she got me, what I've shown you, like the Aztecs and City of Death set and the Hyrule Historia. And I've also uh, 
got a, another surprise when I got back home. And it was a big, massive picture. And I'll show you now. I've brought it into my room to show you all. So I hope you don't get jealous of this. And it is off a picture. And it is off uh, the first 11 Doctors. I'll just try and get it into the camera. It's very hard to get in because it's a massive picture. But basically it shows all the 11 Doctors. I'll just like give you a close-up. So... It's like silhouettes of like all the doctors and like all their eras and shows like monsters and things like that. And companions. So it is absolutely fantastic. I just did not expect this. When I walked in, it was like the other way around, so I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like some sort of table. And then uh my dad said uh like, why didn't you turn it around? I turned it around and there it was. I did not expect anything like this. It's going to be on the wall in my spare room. Um, that's where I make my figure reviews. Um, well, where I have been making my figure reviews for nearly the past two years. So that is my picture of the, 11 doc the first 11 Doctors, I should say now. Because, of course, Peter Capaldi is now... The Incubant Doctor, as seen last night. Um, so that is pretty much, well, not all of what I've got for Christmas, but most of what I've got for Christmas. It's basically all the Doctor Who stuff I've got this Christmas, and it's one of the best Christmases ever. Uh, in fact, it is the best Christmas ever, because the Determined Artist has always makes me a very happy guy at Christmas, and... Um, my parents really generous with presents. Um, I've got other things as well, but like I said, it'll take up a lot of time to actually show you that type of stuff. So, as always, YouTubers, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Let me know what you've got for Christmas as well, if you want to. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and oh yeah I will be actually doing a, another collection update um, before the new year to show you basically all of my Doctor Who collection as of uh, the end of this year so stay tuned for that and take care and I'll see you next time cheerio